Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Adventures in Gold Rush. Today, we are back in Switzerland on the Grosse Fontaine once again. So, I'm gonna get back to it, and I'm gonna find me some gold. First time out? Yeah! We have found gold. In the dirt. Adventures in Gold Rush, baby! Yes, yes. All right, I'm back for an update. We were told yesterday we can use a Henderson pump and was not aware of that. And it's going to help us get in the cracks and crevices. There's bedrock exposed right up there, bedrock over here, and I've already hit some bedrock right down there. So the plan is to dig in through here and then use, I only unfortunately have the small Keen pump with me. Plan on buying another one tomorrow. Uh, there's a place on the way here where I can pick one up. Then I'll have two, I guess I'll take that one to America. And a big shout out to Sasha, a YouTube subscriber from Germany that I happened to meet yesterday and he's digging right beside me. Coincidence, coincidence, a great guy. He told me that you can use the Henderson pump here, it's allowed. Let's check out their hole, what they've been doing. This is crazy. This is what they've been doing. They've dug a place all the way into the embankment so far. They're working their way across that. It's insane. Both sides right here and right here. Hope you guys can see that gold in there. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. Look at that. Even more booms than I went boom. And the cool thing, funny thing, is I'm not even down to the bedrock yet. Because what I'm concentrating on doing is washing this away about back to where that backpack is first. And then I'm going to work the rest of the way down and go down to the bedrock. And the bedrock's not too deep from where I'm at right here. But all that gold that I'm washing down is probably sinking down to the bottom there and I haven't even got to that yet and I'm still getting good results like that. So I'm gonna keep going, get another couple of buckets, well, another bucket and a half and uh, show you guys some more results. But I'm gonna go ahead and clean out the sluice first because I'm working with not much water pressure because the flakes here are very small and uh, I'm afraid if I use too much water pressure that I'm going to lose a lot of those really light, thin flakes because this is, uh, they call it siphon gold here. Okay, so I'm going to get back to it and I'll get back to you guys later. Okay guys, I'm back. Uh, I just started this bucket. I did about, it was three quarters full and I did like half of it and check this shit out. Bombastic, man. Only did half of that. Look at that yellow. Oh my goodness. Everywhere in the front. So just in case you guys couldn't see that from this camera, here's a picture of it right here. Look at that sweet yellow so fast. So that means I'm on the right track. So I'm going to continue get this done and dig deeper I'm trying to make it down to the bedrock because i'm telling you i bet there's a lot of gold because the deeper i go the deeper i go the more gold that just starts popping up so i got to keep going deeper man instead of working that way i'm going to try to go deeper a couple of buckets more all right so i'm going to get this done and i'll be back at you all right everybody i'm back one more time again and it's still early I must say, this is just looking really, really, really good. For Switzerland, I find this incredible to see this many flakes in the front part of the sluice. I hope you guys can see that through the reflection, but there are like 50 little pieces in there. So, just in case you guys couldn't see that, Here's a picture right here. 
that looks really 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 good so I'm gonna get it cleaned up and check out my hole so far getting deep all right so I'm gonna get the sluice cleaned up and I'll be right back at you guys yeah all right we're loaded up me and the double G are ready to get up out of here so when we get back to camp we're gonna check out our gold then we're going to make a decision if we're going to come back here or if we're going to move on. Not really sure how much I got because I just snuffed it up and never really looked at it. So, packed up this heavy-ass backpack again. And, uh, yeah, see you back at camp. All right, I made it back to camp and uh, got everything cleaned up. Here's a picture of what it looks like in the pan. And here's a picture of what it looks like in the vial. Not as much as I wanted it to be. So uh, now I'm going to have to figure out where I'm going to go to in Switzerland, a new river, uh, for the next episode. So that's it for this episode, and I'll see you next time.